say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Waiters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing Grandpa's chicken. chicken, chicken. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Help you grow your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet, gonna educate your palate. Right here in the farmer's kitchen, in Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. cook something good now funding for tim farmer's country kitchen is brought to you by the city of stanford kentucky come back home to stanford l81 bottling company taste love and share the tradition Woods Equipment Company has every tool you need to make working the land as rewarding as hunting it. Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Would you have known that if she hadn't said it a minute ago? Yeah, I wouldn't know that. I just didn't want to say it. Uh, the grandbabies are here. Look who's here. Look who's grown up. It's Sammy. He's tired. But here's what we're going to do. You know what? You all, we promised you last time when you came down we'd make ice cream, right? Now we're not just making ice cream, we're gonna make homemade ice cream mm. with peaches. Where do peaches come from? What state do you think about when you think of peaches? <laughs> Fire crickets. Uh, 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 Can I guess, Papa? Please. Georgia? Thank you. Georgia uh, peaches. What do you uh, think of when you think of Georgia? You know what I think about? I think about Ray Charles' version of the song, Georgia, which is beautiful. Yeah, it's a good and song. And no, nobody else should ever sing it because he did it the That's best. That's right. He did it the best. So anyhow, the peach truck came to Wilson's Nursery, which is in Frankfurt. They not only had okay. peaches, but they had pecans, Sammy. What do you think about <laughs> pecans? Tell me your true thoughts. He loves pecans. All right, we got a lot of things going on tonight. We're going we're gonna to see, I'm going to see if y'all can find some fresh blackberries on the farm here somewhere. If you had to guess which direction they were in, which way would you guess they might be in? I would guess near there. Really? Okay, I'd say take both of those and split them in half and you'll be close. So we're gonna find blackberries. Grandma? We'll, we'll take a everything nap. Everything going good? We'll take a nap. All right, we're gonna go see what a peach truck is. Yeah. You ready to go to the peach truck? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Matthew, where are you from? Uh, I'm actually personally from Thompson Station, Tennessee, but the peaches are coming from Fort Valley, Georgia. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, you are on the peach truck, which means you show up in different areas and you show up with peaches and with pecans. That's correct. Which, you know, we just we can do a little bit of that here in Kentucky, but Georgia's where it's happening. That's right. So That's how long have right. you been with this outfit? This is actually my third year working for the peach truck. The first year I was actually working in Nashville. I got to work from stand to stand. We'll set up different locations across the area. And then the second year, I started out on the tour. So Rick called me up. He said he had a great opportunity, and me and my brother were the best guys for the outfit. And so we got to do it. So we traveled six weeks, six days a week, and three cities a day. Wow. It's wonderful, yeah. Now, here's the deal. They come in boxes. Now, that's a lot of peaches. So, so I'm going to have to put some of these up. Do you have a website or something that tells you how to do these sort of things? We do, indeed. What yeah. is that website? So you can go to thepeachtruck.com, gotcha. and we can show you how to freeze, can, preserve. You can. Put them in a pie, cobbler, whatever. Ice cream. Grandbabies right. are coming oh, yeah. in. It's time for some ice cream. Have you heard of Jenny's ice cream? No. They actually have an ice cream called uh, peach jam and biscuit ice cream, and that's our peaches. No yeah. good. So if you want really good peach ice cream, go to Jenny's ice cream, and that's that our out. peaches. Thank you so much for talking with us today. I'm going to give you some peaches and pecans. <laughs> Definitely. Please good do. Good talking with you, Matthew. All right, uh, Taryn mm -hmm. has a recipe, am I correct? What do you call the recipe? What is it? Taryn's what? Yogurt cup. 
Yogurt cup, I'll That's take that. One. That sounds good. This is your recipe, right? Now, let me ask you this. What kind of animal do they make granola out of? Think about it. Is he maybe teasing you? It doesn't have an animal. That's right. It doesn't have an animal in it. But it's good granola. It's made in Kentucky, and we're going to try some here in a little while. Now, in order to have this granola, yogurt, berry snack, we got to have some berries. All right, now let me give you a hint. All right, here's a hint. One bee box is orange, one bee box is blue. Bees fly all day, so they know where the berries are, too. <laughs> Let's go find them. To the right? You want to go to the right? Is that your choice? No. You're I'm getting hot. <laughs> if you said right, you're getting hot. Right. All right, let's go right. When they're not completely ripe, they're really bright red. So let's come up here and see if we can see anything bright red. You could just come over here and pick them fresh. Exactly, until we run out. Papa, look at all the ones I missed over here. Oh my. There you go. <laughs> I think that's enough for your snack. What do you think? Let's show Grandma what we found. Okay, so speaking of berries, we went to Wilmore Berry Farm and met up with Jennifer and her crew not too long ago and got some delicious strawberries, which we promptly froze, mm -hmm. put in a little sugar cocktail and froze it. Now, we tried this out with your new ice cream machine. Now, the thing about this particular ice cream machine, and this is, I guess they sell them just about anywhere, right. is the work is pretty much done for you. Yeah. It stirs itself, there's no salt. But we have, uh, Again, the peaches from the peach truck, we're going to do that just like you did that. Right. So again, you just cut it up. We're just going to cut these up, take the seed out, and skin them. And we want about a cup. And it, but when I did it earlier, it seemed like it was about two peaches did it. So you need a cup. So okay, this cup. makes this makes like a really, like enough for just a, a, like a cup full. Just for us to all have some ice cream, yeah. just for a little snack. There's our peaches. They smell good, don't they? You're just mushing them up. Yeah. See how two peaches, two makes about a cup. And that's just because this is this ice cream maker, so that's why we're doing this. And what was this, a half a cup of confectioner sugar? Yep, we're going to pour it in there. Confectioner sugar? Yes. And that's it, and then half of a lemon. All right. I'm just going to squeeze this over it. Just mix it up. Mix that up, and we're going to stick that in the fridge. It says for at least an hour. Heavy cream? Heavy whipping cream. Three quarters of a cup. But like I said, every recipe is different by your ice cream machine. This is just this ice cream machine. I'm excited, are you? I love ice cream. Are you excited, Papa? You know what excited like? Yeah. <laughs> That's how excited I am. Yeah, I see you're excited like. I see you're excited like. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, should we all take a little lick to make sure? You can tell Grandma's done it before. Let's see. That's mm. a big lick. Mm. I mean, left for the ice cream. All right, butter. now we're just gonna pour this in. And that's it. We're gonna put this in our ice cream maker. <laughs> that's it, no kidding. Yeah, that's it. That's just too easy. Mm -hmm. And too yummy. Now, again, this base has been in the freezer for what, 24 hours? Yeah, you just leave it in there and we make ice cream anytime we want. Let's turn it this way. This is our strawberry. Should we try it while we're waiting? All right, everybody, everybody pick a corner. Okay. Right, that's your corner, this is my corner. Oh my. This is from the other night. It's been in the first. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. That's not a big piece. Mmm. I got a barely. Is that creamy or what? I gotta just tell you. This is good. It's better than store bought. Mm -hmm. I don't really like strawberry cream, but this made me. Yeah, like good. It. Isn't that good? Good. We didn't eat dinner yet. We're having ice cream first. Trouble. Don't tell mom. What's gonna happen when your mom sees this? Just don't let her She's gonna paddle me. Mm-hmm. We're just going backwards. Yum. You mm. can see that's already starting to set up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And the sky's the limit. 
You know what, Nikki? This is, this got all the four food groups in it. It does. It's got berries, strawberries, ah. sugar, mm -hmm. dairy, mm. berries. All right, let's not completely ruin our dinner because we got to try the peach too before dinner. Okay. We're breaking all the rules here. And you guys got an appetizer. Oh yeah, we need to make the what do you call it? Taryn's yogurt. All right, let's quit eating this if we can. All right. All right, Taryn, it's your big moment. Show me, show me, tell me exactly how to do this so I can remember it. Because this would be a great breakfast dish. First, you get a spoonful of yogurt and put it in the very bottom. Just one spoonful? No. Fill the bottom. So, yogurt next, first. Yep. Then next, we get granola. Granola. All right. This is looking good. And I'm telling you what, we've had a very lucky evening. We've had uh, ice cream, now yogurt, granola. We haven't even had dinner yet, Grandma. All right, very artistic. What's next? Chocolate. That's you put right. a little chocolate yeah, in too. Yeah. More yogurt. More yogurt. So you're layering it. Then we're gonna keep copying for a while. I'll do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Then granola. So if now we're gonna do chocolate syrup. All right, I can handle that. Can we go with like strawberries and blackberries? Would that not be perfect? We're gonna do both. Okay, I like it. Okay, berries, it's time for berries. Whipped cream, Madeline. Can you make me go around the edge? I don't think I can do it. Go on top, like that. Yep. Look at that. This was almost healthy. It is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're the boss. This is your recipe. This is Taryn's yogurt cup and other stuff. The dogs want one. Look at that, how fancy. Beautiful, the artistic. Endeavor. That's wonderful. I can't. I can't stand it any longer. Yep. That's ready. Mm -hmm. All right. I want. I want the camera to see that. That's a work of art. Mm -hmm. right. Now, a big moment. I'm gonna make sure I get. I'll eat yours. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's really good. When's the ice cream gonna be ready? <laughs> Is your mom gonna kill me? Probably. That's good. Mm. So how many calories do you think's in that? <laughs> A million. What do you think? One. One calorie? Well, thank God, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. One calorie. Mmm. Look, it does have a lot of fruit in it. How many calories do you think is in the ice cream? A uh, hundred thousand million. Mmm. I wish it'd hurry up. Mm. I haven't had nearly enough sugar. Mm. Grandma, it's been 20 minutes. Now, that was 20 minutes. It seemed like it was like 10 minutes. Now, I don't know if it was, if, I, if I'm, my memory is wrong, but it seemed like ice cream, when you're cranking it, take six days. Oh, yeah. What do you think? No, the whipped cream do you like it? gone. Oh, no. Mm. You, we need any sprinkles on or anything? Some chocolate? Yeah, we need more sweets. You guys ready for dinner? We gotta have dinner. You know what? Let's go check on the cow and calf. We okay. haven't seen them for a while. Okay. They're really doing well. She's being spoiled. You know, Todd came out the other day and he was so impressed how thick he's getting. Man, he's healthy looking. Spoiling him, aren't you? We're spoiling him. I bought a bunch of brand new alfalfa from Mr. Crutcher and she's getting a lot of sweet feed. She likes apples too. She likes apples. You wanna feed her an apple? Let's go feed you girls wanna feed her an apple. Yeah, let's finish her let's ice cream. Apple. Maybe we we'll find some cookies in the house on the way. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll eat dinner later. Yeah. Oh. What's for dinner? Chocolate cake. Mmm. Mm. Alex is back. You know what happened this week? What? It's a theme show. The peach truck came from Georgia. I heard. Guess who else came? Grandbabies. Lots of grandbabies. So tonight, no adult beverages. Absolutely. 
but a mixed drink. Of course, a the mocktail, grand. if you will. A mocktail, I like that. <laughs> and this is for Nanny. She's gonna try it out and tell if it's, if it's any good. I mean, obviously, it's gotta be healthy. We got fruit. Yeah, there's a little bit of sugar in there, but you know, they get to have fun too. So what I like to do, fill up a shaker with ice. It looks like you're making a real cocktail. I'm gonna throw in a lot of blackberries, about two slices of peaches. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna use that ginger infused simple syrup that I love. What are you gonna call this? I think you had the good name, the Grain Baby. Oh, so it's stuck. Ex it so did, that's I what think. it is, the Grain Baby. <laughs> that's what it is, Tim. <laughs> so I put in about five teaspoons of the simple syrup because we're having fun tonight. I'm gonna fill it up with orange juice. Give it a good shake to get all of the fruit juices going. You know, this would be a great breakfast drink if you go into the morning. It would. Yeah, <laughs> it good smoothie, about. minus the simple syrup. So we'll fill up a new glass. I had somebody Fairly. from out of state. They chastised me. They said, Grand Baby is not a word. Well, they haven't been to Kentucky. That's exactly right. <laughs> it's a word now. <laughs> we're gonna do is top it up with a ginger ale type soda. And of course, because mm. it's the peach show, we'll throw some more peaches in there to add it a bit of flavor and a good garnish and you're all set. Let me try it to make sure it's okay for Nanny. Ooh, I can drink a pile of that. Come here, Nanny. Yeah, try it out. Ooh, that's really good. <laughs> this is good, I'm gonna have the rest of it, thank you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank the you very much, Sam. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>You've done it all. <laughs> thank you. He's the king of media in Kentucky. <laughs> and we're so honored to have you here today. But, oh, but more than you. anything, to me, you're Kentucky storyteller. I've heard you sit down and talk. And, and, and when I was a kid, because I'm still a kid and you're still a kid, but there are people who have that ability to do so. And I'm, as the country kitchen has grown, we're appealing to people who like the traditional things, the old things. We were talking the other day and you were telling me about milking a cow. I told you I got a cow. And you started going back without even thinking about it. You started telling me a story. I said, we got to capture that. So let's talk about your first memories of milking a cow. Back in the day, did everybody not have a cow? Where I grew up, everybody had a cow because I, we were, we had a s small family farm. People had, you know, four or five milk cows. Then they'd have a few beef cows, maybe some hogs, sheep. And a lot of people didn't have milking machines then. You so know, you were the designated was, milker. <laughs> I was a designated milker. My dad milked too, but we would milk uh, sometimes. I think we never milked by hand more than six or seven cows. But then I, I milked 19 cows one time with, with milkers for the, the guy, another farmer there. So I've milked a good many cows in my time. But you've won many awards for, for <laughs> journalism, television, but you know, you told me about one award, which you said you're the proudest of. And then we just happen to have it. I've got to be real That's careful, right. so I don't want to damage yeah, it or yeah, drop it. That thing is... Tell us about this right here. Well, this is my, um, what's that, uh, 1993? Yeah, I wasn't even born in. Kentucky, <laughs> Kentucky Dairy Festival milking championship that I won. You, hands down, I mean seriously, you are actually milking cows and you won this. What right. what did it take for you to win this? Was well, it volume I was, or? I was already, uh, I think they uh, figured who got the most in the bucket first. I think they ran really some city slickers in to the contest and they didn't know. They thought that I was. They didn't I know was. you had the experience. They, didn't, they thought I was too, but they didn't know that I had, they, that I still had that grip to him. What is the grip? Explain the grip. Well, it's not just gripping 
you have to you have to finesse you know you have to it has to be a graduated squeeze starting with the forefinger the middle finger and then you know like you get the countdown right you know how they do the countdown on television yeah. how, how is it they go then you go live and then you go live <laughs> that's the way they give you the but countdown I want you, I want, for the I want camera. To get a close up on this this is this is for real do you realize in today's market well how much that gold would be worth right there and this uh, imitation marble yes base other people there were, there are people who'd like to get their hands on this I guarantee Don't let you? me set this out of the way so it doesn't get damaged this this doesn't just stay anywhere in my place it's it's tucked away but so, I but but you know my dad showed me yeah. how to milk a cow and uh, what threw me off on this contest, I was milking a big Holstein. And they're a little bigger than the Jerseys and Guernseys that I grew up with. So, you know, and I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but I still persevered and I put the foam, I had a foam about that high on that bucket. And don't think there weren't some people that stood back and, and in amazement. It. In, in amazement. We had milking stools and our stools were just a piece of old barn wood on a peg of some kind, a piece of piece of a post or something, just a single peg, single leg. So we could, you know, we could move around and dodge. You can't do that if you got four legs on your milking stool. And of course, when I would be going to the house with the milk, you know, maybe that much milk in a bucket, you go strain the milk. Always, I would. Don't ask me why. This was a farm kid thing. No, you got, You told me the story. I loved this it. This was a farm kid thing. You'd be swinging that bucket. And you'd be looking at the milk, and someone told me that if you that you could swing it all the way around, and it wouldn't spill. So I would, you know, you know and you can do that. Centrifugal force holds. Centrifugal holds force it holds it in there, and I, that was my first uh, brush with magic. I thought, man, what? The, this is something I could go on the road with this thing. In the. Uh words of the immortal Hank Williams Jr. A country boy can survive. <laughs> Byron, and, thank you so and much. my goal is to be able to come here and milk for you. All right, you heard that. He said that. She has never been milked by hand. You understand that? Oops. Now, if you take this challenge, if you choose to take this mission, I'd be all for it. I let's, may have so, let's to see. bring my one-legged milk stool. Let's see how much response we can get on Facebook to see if Byron would actually come and milk Mother Maybell. I sure will. Will you really? I'll try. <laughs> you heard it right I'll here. I'll try. You heard it right here. <laughs> you may not have much to drink that first breakfast. He's got the hey, skills. Hey, I think this speaks for itself. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Now, Byron dropped an old clock off when he was over here. He, him and I love old stuff. Right. He always we, brings you something nice. He always does. Yeah. And this thing was in parts and pieces. I wish I'd taken a picture of it before, but here it is after. And this thing, just a work of art. It's nice. 100 years old. Still works like a charm. Thank you, Byron. Appreciate it. You know what? This is a time to take a look back. And remember, if you have missed a show or 100 shows or 150 shows, wow. take a look back on timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. All our recipes, all our shows on there. Also, check out Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page and like it. Tell your friends. Come see us. Come talk with us. We like talking back and forth to our Facebook friends. And this has been a busy week. Yes, it has. And about to get busier. Where are we going this week? Camping. Rain or shine. That's right. That'd be fun. We're going. That'd We're going to do a little RVing. Hey, that'd be and fun. And Natalie's coming up with a recipe because she's going with Ooh, us. Ooh, she's a good cook. So at this point, let's say it's all about good times, good friends, and good eats. See you next week on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. To order a cookbook or DVD of the show, please call 502-319-0487 or email timfarmerck at gmail.com. Special thanks to CKY Canoe, Kentucky, Furniture World Superstore, Housewarmings, Lodge Cast Iron, Tater Knob Pottery and Farm.
Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen is brought to you by Good Foods Co-op, Kentucky Sheep and Wool Producers Association, and the Kentucky Goat Producers Association, Marksbury Farm Market, Weisenberger Mill, Your Village Shop, Diamond Gusset Jeans, the original Gusset Jean, careful craftsmanship, continual improvement, Diamond Gusset Jeans, born and worn in the USA since 1987.